Final question, I'd like to get your thoughts on DeFi as, uh, as uh, our audience would love your thoughts on that. What are your current thoughts on the DeFi space generally and with, within DeFi, what sort of innovations would you like to see? Yeah, I mean, I think my view on DeFi in general is like the same that it's been for a while, which is like, I'm, I don't care so much about whether or not, whether people are getting 4% APR or 6% APR. I want people to not get minus 100% APR. Um, and so I, yeah. You know, like want to see just like simple and dumb and robust stuff uh, that just like serves some uh, pretty basic needs and doesn't try to go too crazy. Um, so, like, what things do we need, right? Like, you know, you need a stable coin, um, and uh, like I actually think there's an um, opening for stable coins, especially in the like in the current financial environments where interest rates are pretty high. Um, just uh, because like there's a lot of different uh, like centralized services that are just kind of constraints to only being able to offer zero, and uh, there's uh, like it's possible for even for decentralized things to you know, potentially go higher than that. Um, and there's uh, value in trying to give people access to other kinds of uh, like real world assets or indices, right? Uh, so could be stock indices, could be real estate. Um, I, th I mean, it could also be precious metals, I suppose. But like, I mean, for me personally, I think like stocks and real estate are the uh, really, yeah, uh, the really interesting ones. Um, and on the real estate side, um, you know, including things like fractional ownership. Um, yeah, I mean, I think like in general, the way that our modern like society yeah, interacts with uh, real estate is like pretty pathological, right? Because like it's like either you own a house and you're like insanely over leveraged on one asset. Or you um, do not own a house, and in that case, like you know, you have to pay rent, and so you're implicitly shorting the community that you're living in, and like both of those seem unhealthy, right? And so, yeah, like I'm, if we can make fractional ownership uh, be the a, uh, like a middle ground that gets uh, actually adopted, I think it could be yeah, super cool. Um, but like that's all, you know, like pretty simple stuff and a limited number of things, and just like making sure, like work on uh, you know, like making the oracles as uh, robust as possible and uh, make the yeah, you know, like s systems f uh, f for doing uh, you know, like liquidations and um, all of those things just kind of be as uh, you know, like standard and as, uh, s and as robust and as um, unlikely to break as possible. I um, you know, just uh, focusing on user and wallet security and uh, all of those things and just uh, get to the point where like, you have some number of components that just uh, do the thing that people expect of them and work and um, you know create at least uh, just globally accessible um, you know like access to basic functions that people really need and uh, that's what that probably just is what well already a really good and honorable thing for DeFi to be doing